guys and gals, we are back again for yet another ice cream recipe. Now, I have already showed you how to make keto vanilla ice cream, keto chocolate ice cream, and keto cookies and cream ice cream, and you guys have loved those videos. In fact, my low-carb chocolate ice cream is my most popular video. It used to be my hamburger bun recipe, but the chocolate ice cream one has blown that one out of the water almost by double, which tells me you all like ice cream a lot. So today, I'm going to share with you my husband's favorite ice cream, Keto Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. So, so yummy. Now, I've tasted store-bought ice cream, store-bought strawberry cheesecake ice cream, and, you know, it's good. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's good, but there's nothing quite the same as homemade ice cream. You know exactly what's in your ice cream. You can make it as sweet or as tarty or however you wanted to make it. You can make it according to your personal preference. It's perfect. It's wonderful every time. And so... If you want a printable version of this, you can check out my website at JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, right next to the subscribe button, there's a little notification bell. Click that bell. That way you can be notified every time I put out a new video. And while you do that, let's get cooking. Line a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan with parchment paper. Place 3 fourths cup plus 2 tablespoons of almond flour into the prepared loaf pan. Add 1 8 teaspoon of salt, 2 and a half tablespoons of brown swerve or brown sugar sweetener of your choice. Use a fork and stir these all together until they're fully combined. Make sure you get all of the lumps out. The brown swerve can get a little sticky, so it likes to clump up together. So you might need to get in there and get your fingers and press out all of the lumps. Just make sure that everything gets fully combined and there's no big lumps in it. Add three tablespoons of butter that's been melted and cooled. Make sure it's cooled completely. And a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, use your fork or your fingers and stir until everything is fully combined. You want to make sure that all the dry ingredients get nice and wet with the butter. Then use your fingers, a fork, or the back of a measuring cup. Then firmly press down on the mixture until it's fully and evenly spread onto the bottom of the pan. Make sure you press firmly because you do want all the ingredients to stick together. Once it's pressed evenly into the pan, then use a pizza cutter and divide the mixture into small pieces. Now however small you want depends on what size of piece that you're going to want in your ice cream. If you like bigger pieces of a graham cracker crust, then you can cut them a little bit bigger. If you want small pieces, cut them a little bit smaller. All depends on what size you want in your ice cream. I like mine to be fairly small, so I cut mine into small pieces. Once you've cut it into small pieces, then place it in the freezer and freeze it for about an hour or just until it's firmly pressed together. When you're ready to use it, you're going to take it out about five minutes before you're actually ready to use it so it can come up to room temperature a little bit. Then just use a knife and break it all up into the desired pieces that you want in your ice cream. Now for the ice cream, in a large mixer bowl, place four ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Then beat it on medium for about two to three minutes or until it's nice and soft and creamy. You want it to be creamed together really well. Scrape down the sides if you need to and push all the softened cream cheese to the center of the bowl. Change the attachment on your standing mixer to a whisk attachment. Then add one and three-fourths cup of sugar-free condensed milk. 
If you need a recipe for sugar-free condensed milk, I'll put a link in the description to my recipe for sugar-free condensed milk. This is what I'm using. Then add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Whisk on medium for about two minutes or until everything is smooth and fully combined. Add two cups of heavy whipping cream and beat on medium high for about three to five minutes or until soft peaks begin to form. You do not want this stiff, but you want to be able to spoon it without it sliding off your spoon. Sprinkle in about 1 8 teaspoon of xanthan gum and beat on medium just for about 30 seconds or until the xanthan gum is fully combined and the mixture starts to resemble soft serve ice cream. Now the xanthan gum is just there as a stabilizer. If you ever look on the back of commercial ice creams, they almost always have either gar gum or xanthan gum or some other type of gum in them. Basically, it's in there to stabilize the ice cream. That way, it doesn't freeze like a brick. Because depending on how much you mix it, if you accidentally over mix it, it can freeze like a solid brick. So adding that xanthan gum can help it not to freeze so solid. Once the xanthan gum is mixed in and your mixture resembles soft serve ice cream, Scrape down the sides, then gently fold in 3 fourths cup of frozen chopped strawberries, more or less depending on how many strawberries you like. I usually just take about 5 or 6 large frozen strawberries, pop them in my food processor, pulse them for about 3 or 5 seconds just until they're chopped to the size that, that I like. I like my pieces of strawberry kind of small. I still like them to be in chunk form. I don't want them to be pureed, but I don't like humongous hunks of strawberry. But as I said, it all depends on how big you like them. Just pulse them up, put at least 3 fourths cup, then gently fold in 1 third cup of the frozen keto graham cracker pieces that we already made. Again, it's more or less depending on how much graham cracker crust you want in your ice cream. If you have leftover graham cracker pieces, all you have to do is store them in a mason jar or airtight container and keep them in the freezer until you're ready to use them again, so you don't have to worry about wasting them. Make sure everything gets fully distributed, but be careful when you are folding your ingredients in. You want to do just that. You want to fold it in. You do not want to vigorously stir because one, the strawberries will begin to bleed into your ice cream and you won't have that pretty red and white effect. But the main reason why you want to be careful is because you don't want to flatten your whipped cream that's in there. You want it to stay nice and puffy. You want it to have that, that soft serve texture to it. Then carefully spoon the mixture into a freezer safe container with a lid. Cover it and freeze it for at least six hours. When you're ready to use it, remove it from the freezer. Now, if it does seem like it's frozen too hard, all you gotta do is leave it at room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes or just until it softens enough to be able to scoop it. Then scoop it into a cone or a bowl or a cup or however you wanna eat it. And eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, then click the thumbs up like button, click the subscribe button. You can leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.